Hello everyone, my name is Hainsey Beast, and, I, and today I'll be showing you how to mod Borderlands 2. Um, first things first, you're going to want to watch this in 720p so you can see all of these uh, these words up here and so you know what I'm doing. And second, you're going to want to get or you get a flash drive and you're going to want to put that into your PlayStation and copy your save that you want to mod uh, onto the flash drive and then plug that, in, plug that into your computer and it should look something like this. If you're not from the U.S., something else will be here, but it should look similar to that. All right, now you're going to want to uh, download all four of these things that I put in the description. And it'll look like that. And then you're going to want to get WinRAR or some other form of uh, uh, extracting program. I'll put WinRAR in the description, too. <coughs> Excuse me. But now what you're going to want to do is... Right click on brute force v151 and extract to brute force that click on dependencies extract to dependencies and then you're bl2 save editor and extract here all right you got all those you are now done with those three you're going to want to click on this click oh wait nope sorry my bad messed up right click run as administrator and on this link in the description it'll, it'll post you to another uh, website and you're gonna just want to click the orange download button and then this will come up on your screen but yeah it's that simple I didn't think I need to go over that all right that's done oh never mind next I'm not sure why this is taking so long. <laughs> All right, now this is done. Click finish. And all right, now you're gonna want to double click dependencies, click that, run as administrator. Yes, all right, that's done. Double click on brute force, click on that, run as administrator. Um, I already I already have this. Wait, hold on. Yeah, just exit out of that. That won't come up on your screen since I already have this downloaded. But you just want to click I agree, and next, and install. Yep, and yes. And then click finish, and then once you click finish, it should uh, start running for you. And here it is. So just minimize that for now. And exit out of this. My computer's running slow for some reason. I don't know why. But now you're going to want to double click on this. And you just want to simply double click. You don't have to run as administrator. You can just double click on the save edit. The one that has the picture of them. And exit out of that. And minimize. Alright, now you're going to want to go back to your brute force save data. <coughs> and yours should not have any of this. So I'm just going to click refresh oh, wait hold on click back and hit refresh what hold on all right now this is what your should look like right you're gonna want to click these three dots scroll up to desktop click that once and hit okay okay now these two should these should come up don't you that you should not have this one right here you should just have this this is my first attempt at this and it did not work so you just want to have that. You're gonna click, like, click it. Your decrypt PFD. Hit yes. All of this should be should be correct. You you want to have the warning thing down here. That is fine. All right, now you're gonna wanna. You got that done. So now you're gonna wanna go to your save editor. You're gonna wanna open. Click the save. 
make sure it's PS3. If you're doing it for Xbox, you want to click Xbox, PC, PC. But I have a PS3, so I'm going to click PS3, and then click Open. And here's all your stuff. <coughs> you can change. Um, you can't do skill points anymore. They patched that. Um, you can change that. You don't. You do not want to change that. You don't want to change that. You can change this. It'll change it. You know, all this down here in your name. Um, currency, you can have 99. 999, 999, and this one, it's like a lot of 99s. I'm not sure what it is, but you can put whatever you want. Uh, these, you can just click it, and it'll go to it. Backpack, these are all your weapons. I'll make a video of how to, how to mod uh, in the days to come. Your bank, what you have in the bank, I'm not sure why I have that in there. And this is this is stuff that I'm not sure what to do with. I, I know you can change like anything you can on here with this, but it's way more complicated and it's easier just to use these. And that's pretty much it. So say I'm just gonna change something. I'm just gonna change this to 98, so that way I can have something else to change. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna save and make sure it's on that save file and hit save. And yes replace it and then now it's saved so now you're gonna want to go back and if you want to check it check make sure you did it right you're gonna want to go back to this hit refresh a couple times since you did change it click on that again hit encrypt or wait no hold on hit update update full okay click it again encrypt yes see now it's encrypted and to where it was where it was before and now if you click open that one make sure it's ps3 it should come up with this if it comes up with that you did it correctly and now you can uh, unplug it and it should be on your flash drive oh wait no no it should not because I go to YouTube ps3 save data yeah it should be it should be right there where where it, uh, where it is there it is, right there. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this might might not have been the best tutorial, but um, you kind of get the idea, and I think you can work from here. All right, thanks. Bye.